goodness! This field is almost as large as the Kansas prairie. How are we ever to find the yellow brick road? So many flowers. Yellow and white and blue and purple. I suppose when I have brains, I shall probably appreciate them better. And if I only had a heart, I would love them. Yeah, flowers are for sissies. Oh. But uh, since you brought them to my attention, they're um, awfully sweet, aren't they? That's funny. Now they're all red. Yes, that's because we're in a poppy field. Oh, of course. I ought to have known that. Oh, aren't they lovely? Oh, oh, dear. I feel quite sleepy all of a sudden. Dorothy, what are you doing? Well, I just need to sit down and rest a while. But we must find the yellow brick road before dark. The tin man's right. Come on, Dorothy. Walk between us. Yes. We'll hold you up for support. Just need to close my eyes oh. for a minute or two. She's fast asleep. And Toto as well. Oh, what's come over her? I know. It's these poppies. I've heard munchkins say that the scent of poppies puts humans to sleep in a second. Lucky me. Being made of straw, I'm not troubled by the scent of flowers. Neither am I being made of tin. Well, as for me, I'm feeling awfully drowsy. Run fast, Lion, and get out of this deadly flower bed as soon as you can. We can carry Dorothy, but you're much too heavy. Yes. You're right. I'll uh, run as fast as I can. Uh, see you folks later. Come on, Tin Man. Let's make a chair with our hands to carry Dorothy. And don't forget Toto. <sighs> this is hard work. Perhaps sleeping people way more? Oh, it seems this field will never end. Uh-oh. Do you see what I see? Oh, the poor old lion. He couldn't escape fast enough. Dead to the world. Oh, There's no way we could carry him. We must leave him here to sleep forever. I'm truly sorry. Perhaps he's dreaming that he's found courage at last. And we'd better go on. <laughs> 